Welcome to our practice of Yoga Nidra. I'm Laura. I'm going to be guiding you through the steps of Yoga Nidra. And we'll start out by finding a comfortable position. A position where you feel supported and warm so that you'll be able to stay still for the duration of our Yoga Nidra practice. Once you find that position of comfort, then we'll start to let the body settle, becoming aware of the feeling of your body resting against the floor, that feeling of support and comfort. And starting our practice by setting an intention in your mind, thinking about what it is that you wish to get out of this practice. Is it relaxation? Are you trying to connect with yourself on a deeper level? Whatever your personal intention is for this time, for this practice, Settle your mind onto that. And let the mind settle first onto the breath. Just watching your breath for a few rounds. From that movement of the breath, We'll bring our attention in deeper to the space of the heart. Noticing the movement of the heart. Then going down even deeper, and settling your mind onto your deepest heartfelt desire. Thinking about what it is that you want more than anything in the world. And once you have that deep heartfelt desire in your mind, let that soak into every cell. Let it fill the whole body, feeling like it is radiating out from your heart. As that connection to your heartfelt desire becomes stronger, believing it to be true right now, imagining that Whatever it is that you want most is already here. Bring your attention down even deeper to the place that you feel to be the core of your being. In your center, bringing your attention to the source of your energy, the source of your strength. And we'll call this place your inner resource. This is a place where when you are feeling unsure or when you are facing a challenge, you can come down to your inner resource to find the strength, to find the energy to face whatever challenge is in front of you. It's something that you can use during your meditation practice or at any point during the day. Your inner resource is something that you always carry with you and you always have the ability to access it when you need it.
from there, expanding your awareness out to the rest of the body. Feeling how settled and supported the body is right now. And taking your attention down to the bottom of the body, down to the soles of the feet. And then right over to the tips of your toes. We'll move that attention into the lower legs, into the shins, around to the muscles of the calf, up to your knee joints. And then into the muscles on the top of the thigh, around to the muscles of the back of the thigh, and we'll come up to the lower back and the area that wraps around the pelvis, the hips, and the lower belly. Starting to notice any subtle movement that's happening in the belly. And then coming up toward the belly button, right at the center of the abdominals, around the waist, around to the back and the spine. Working your way up the spine to the upper back. and around to the chest, and especially watching the movement of the breath in the chest. Moving out to the shoulders, the front of the shoulders, down to the arms. the elbows, down into the forearms, feeling that connection to the wrist joint, to the palms of the hands. Very soft, relaxed fingers. Working your way back into the center of the body, to the heart, to the chest. Letting your awareness move up into the throat. Watching the air move through this space. Coming around to the back of the neck. And then working your way up the back of the skull, around the scalp, and the ears. around to the features of the face, the lips, the nose, the cheeks, the eyes, the forehead, And then coming up and settling your awareness at the very top of the head. From the top of the head, let your attention move down to the spaces where you can feel your breath 
coming and going. Watching that pathway of the breath moving, starting from the nostrils, moving through the nose, down into the lungs, watching the process of expanding as the lungs fill up and then softening as the lungs empty, watching the air move back up and leave the body through the nostrils. Watching a few rounds of breath that way. Starting to connect to the breath as a more expansive experience. Instead of just watching the movement of the air coming into the chest, being aware of the oxygen then being taken and moved to every other cell in the body. The breath begins to take on this expansive quality of moving energy, of providing the resources that the body needs to carry out all functions. We always have the breath as a tool that is available to us to regulate our energy, to give our body what it needs to be able to heal and restore itself. As you continue to watch the breath, that subtle ever-present movement in the body. Allow yourself to be open to any thoughts that may come into your mind. We may have thoughts related to the breath or thoughts of your experience. Even welcoming thoughts about any other situation, any other experience. When those thoughts rise up, noticing that they're there, but working on keeping some space from them so that you don't feel tempted to elaborate or let the thought draw you away. Just noticing that it's there, letting it dissolve on its own time. Moving into a space of noticing your feelings, noticing any emotions that may come up during this process. Being open to any emotion, not just the ones that we label as being positive or desirable. If you feel tension or anxiety, don't ignore those feelings. Notice them and acknowledge that they are there. Noticing the full range of experience, the full range of our emotions that are available to us. Let your attention move down to the center of the heart, to a place where the spark of joy resides. And this is a kind of joy that is not dependent on any external situation. 
This is joy that exists completely on its own. We connect to that inner spark of joy. And as our mind settles on it, it begins to become stronger and brighter until we feel that sense of joy envelop the entire body. Radiant, comfortable, soaking in that experience of pure joy just for the sake of joy. And we'll draw our awareness back out of the body as though you were sitting next to yourself looking at yourself in this state completely relaxed, filled with this sense of inner joy. Becoming aware of the experience of being you in this moment. Your individual experience of being human. Now allowing any other experiences to come in. Not letting yourself be limited to any certain thoughts or feelings. It's a a state of openness to whatever your current experience can be. And then finally, looking back at the steps that we've moved through, the phases of Yoga Nidra, And reflecting on what that experience was like. Were there places where you felt ease, where the mind was focused and clear? Were there any spaces in your practice that felt more challenging or uncomfortable? We can learn from all of those different experiences in our practice. Coming back to your heartfelt desire and ending with the mind settled there. Whatever it is that you hold in the deepest space in your heart, whatever it is that you want more than anything in the world, letting your energy settle there. You can stay in this space for as long as you like. When you're ready to end your practice, moving slowly out of this position, opening the eyes slowly, letting yourself readjust as you come up. Thank you for practicing Yoga Nidra with me. I hope that this practice brings a greater sense of self-awareness and ease into your life.